Hi everyone, how are you today? It is Jane and I am coming to you with a currently inked for October 2023. Uh, now some of the pens I have carried over from last month um, and we will go through those. Um, and then I've added a lot more as well. So all up, I have at the moment 20 pens inked up. So they're here. And here. Now I've got them in my um, gallon leather uh, 10 zippered pen cases um, that protects them and keeps them safe. Um, but I find they're also just really handy to carry around with me. So they're quite heavy, like when you've got 10 pens in them, but they keep them very safe and secure and I can store them on my bookshelves as well. So um, if none of you have heard of Gallon Leather, I will actually put um, a link to their website down below in the description box. So let's get into it. The first one I have inked up is this uh, Jinhao 82, I call it Amber Sparkle. It has a fine nib on it. Um, you'll also notice, or well, you may not notice, but we are in a new ink book now because um, my other one has finished. So that lasted me a whole year, which was good. Um, so this one is, just wondering how big to do these. You know, for an inexpensive pen, this writes very well. So this is the Jinhao 82. Um, and uh, I'm going to have to put the notebook on a bit of an angle. Sorry, guys. Amber Sparkle with a fine nib. And it is inked with Robert Oster Toffee. So just a gorgeous combination there. So that's the first pen. Uh, the second pen I have inked up, this is also from last month. This is the Pilot Decimo uh, Champagne Pink with a medium nib. Um, champagne pink finish. Oops, pink medium nib, and it is inked with Pilot Namiki Black. A, it's just a really nice basic black ink but flows very nicely which is important so the next one I have inked up also from last month I took this to the Pelican Hub with me um, up in Brisbane in September this is my uh, Pelican M400 white tortoise stripe and it has a fine nib on it The nibs on these pens are just lovely. Anyway, so this is inked with one of my favorite green inks. So Pelican M400. It's my only Pelican pen actually. Um, white tortoise stripe it has a fine nib and it is inked with 
Sailor, Shikiori. I hope um, I hope you can all hear me okay. So down the corner from us, they're doing tree um, lopping and they've got chainsaws going and everything. So it's not a good day to do a video, but I didn't really want to leave this any longer because it's already the 3rd of October. Oh, hands up down below. Who went to the Pelican Hub on the 22nd of September? It was my first one that I went to up in Brisbane and I really enjoyed meeting up with other pen enthusiasts and trying different nibs and seeing different pens. Um, this one is actually a Franklin Christoph Model 45. It's a pocket pen. It's in Blue Orchid and it has a medium nib. So I should just describe that for you. Uh, Franklin Christoph. Model 45, um, Blue Orchid. Medium nib, and it is inked with Diatramentus Hyacinth. Diatramentus, I have to think about that. Hyacinth. Now this is a scented ink, so you get a faint whiff of perfume of hyacinths when you write with it. But as it dries on the page, that scent and that perfume seems to um, disappear. So I actually eye droppered this whole barrel here um, with that ink. This is a carryover from last month too. This is my Twisby Diamond 580. I put a uh, broad nib on this one, so and it has a shimmer ink in it. This is the pink, it's got a broad nib and it is inked with Diamine Shimmertastic Pink Champagne. And this broad nib has held up to the shimmer ink very nicely. I don't have a whole lot left in it um, and it was a full barrel so that's that's good but I'll, I'll end up writing that dry this month. So next pen is actually one that I resurrected. I was cleaning up my drawers. I found it in the bottom of a drawer. Now I bought this last year off Amazon. It is a Wingsung 699. I actually bought this um, because Claire from the Ginger Ninja actually recommended this pen. Um, she's also got a Pilot Custom 823, which this is sort of like the dupe for. Um, however, she said these ones write really nicely and I thought, oh, I'll try one. So I ordered one on Amazon last year. Mine came, it wouldn't write, it was railroading, um, the ink wasn't flowing, it was just a dog's breakfast. And so I actually meant to return it and then I forgot about it. So came across it a few weeks ago in my drawer and I thought, you know what, I might just, I've forgotten to return it. It's too late to return it now. I might as well just play around with the nib and see if I can get it working. So um, I did that. So I put, um, I better just open, so you open the breather hole. So it's a vacuum filled pen. I put a metal shim through the nib here um, I did some micro mesh work with it and it is actually writing really nicely now and the ink is flowing so I had to flush it several times um, yeah anyway really happy that I got it to work and I'm, I'm quite pleased with it now so this is the wing song 699 it is in amber 
it has a medium nib and it is inked with um, Diatramentus Alexander Hamilton. So really happy with that. It's writing well now, which is very pleasing. Now, the next one I have, um, also a carryover from last month, is this Twisby Diamond 580 in the White Rose Gold Finish. It has a medium nib on it. So, Twisby Diamond 580. It's in the white rose gold finish. Has a medium nib and it is inked with Pilot Orochizuku Kujiku. So you might be hearing a little bit of feedback as I write. This um, new Endless Recorder Notebook has the regalia paper. Um, so my last Endless Recorder Notebook had the Tomori River paper, which was a lot smoother. This regalia paper is holding up quite well to fountain pen ink. So it'll be interesting to see what it's like when I swatch. It's slightly thicker than the Tomoe River paper of the other notebook. Um, but you do get that feedbacky sort of sound when you're writing. So, um, yeah, I guess it depends on personal preference um, as to whether you like that sort of thing. I don't mind it. So, but this will be my first one with regalia paper that I'm trying. Now, a new pen to show you. So this is the Estabrook SD in Rainforest. Um, I have been eyeing off this pen for quite a while now. Um, and I've actually sold quite a few pens from my collection in, um, in order to afford this one. So I got it from the Desk Bandit. I got it with a broad nib. And it's writing beautifully. So this was kind of like my um, YouTube anniversary one year fountain pen present to me, I guess you could say. Um, so this is the Esther Brook. It's got a very juicy nib on it. Esther Brook Esty in Rainforest. I'm really sorry about that noise, guys. I hope you can't hear it, but it's, I think they're gonna be going all day. Um, it's inked with a new ink as well that I got at the time, which is Troublemaker um, Kelp Tea. It's a lovely sort of murky, soft green. Um, I can see it's going to shade nicely. So I haven't swatched it yet, but I wanted to ink it up with that, that pen and that ink combo. So the next pen I've got here is my good old Lamy LX in Marin. It has a medium nib and I have it inked with, um, hang on, we'll just write this. Lamy LX Marin with a medium nib and it is inked with Noodler's Black Swan and Australian Roses.
coming out very dark there. I may not have cleaned my pen out very well last time I had an ink in it. But it's like um, the Black Swan Australian Roses is like a sort of a burgundy sort of pink colour. Now the next pen we have in the lineup, this is my um, River City Pen Company pen um, from Rich. It is, I call it just my black green gold pen. It's got a beautiful resin. I should give it a name, shouldn't I? have to think about that. It's got a medium nib on it. And what have I got this one inked with? I've got to try and remember. Oh, there, it's another Troublemaker ink. Um, so, River City Pen Company. Black green gold with a medium nib and it is inked with a sample from my dear friend Tanya she sent me some um, ink samples for my birthday that I've recently had my birthday was a couple of weeks ago um, so this is troublemaker Hanging rice, a lovely green. I've used um, quite a few of the samples in my currently ink this month that she sent me. Now on to the next pen case. We've got the Lemmy Safari in Cozy Cream with a broad nib. Oh, what did I ink this one with? Oh, I think I remember now. Okay, so Lamy Safari Cozy Cream with a broad nib and it is inked with Robert Oster. Terra Australis. It's a lovely brown. I think this one's got a bit of shimmer in it too. Have to wait till it dries. So that's the next one. After that, we've got another Twisby. It's a Twisby Diamond 580 with a medium nib. I love this orange ink. So Twisby Diamond 580. It is in the smoke rose gold finish. Um, it has a medium nib and it is inked with highlight. Aroshizuku Fuyogaki which is um, a lovely brilliant orange really nice so it's the next one and then after this I've just got this is another shimmer ink this is another sample that uh, my pen friend Tanya sent me So this is the Twisby, um, oh, one of Otis's hair, our dog. So this is Twisby Eco Tea. Eco Tea in mint. It has a 1.1 stub nib. And it is inked with just 
trying to think. Colorverse frame. Um, and that's a shimmer ink. Hence putting it in um, a slightly wider nib. So that's the next one. That was also a sample from um, Pen Friend Tanya. Now back to one of my favorite pens. This is a Twisby Eco in Saffron with a very juicy broad nib. I love this pen. I have pretty much had it constantly inked up since I got it quite a few months ago now. So Twisby Eco Tea in Saffron. has a broad nib a really juicy broad nib which is nice and it is inked with ferris wheel press buttered popcorn another really lovely combination so next pen I've got in the lineup is this just turnings um, matte rainbow is what I call it but the blank is actually called an oil slick um, and it has a medium nib on it I've got it inked up with another sample from Tanya it's a beautiful blue ink So just turnings, matte rainbow. It has a medium nib and it is inked with Robert Oster. Uh, Joshua Thorpe. Turquoise. Really lovely, um, bright, vibrant blue. So the next pen we've got is uh, this Visconti. It's called the Novel Reader. It has a medium nib on it. It's a beautiful pen. I know some people complain about the Visconti nibs, but I've been so lucky with mine. They, they write really well. This is another ink sample from Tanya. So this is the Visconti Van Gogh, the Novel Reader, it has a medium nib and it is inked with Sailor Ink Studio. Oops. Let's try and soak some of that up. Now I've got to be careful not to get that everywhere. Sailor Ink Studio and it is number 370. I've only just filled some of these, so. I'll just bring that over here. So the next one we've got is the Twisby Lilac in, um, or Twisby Echo in Lilac. It has a broad nib. Um, this has been inked with another sample from Tanya. So. I think this one's going to burp too. Okay. Twisby Eco in lilac with a broad nib and it is inked with Diamine Lavender. Oh, 
gosh, I'm making a bit of a mess here, aren't I? Oh well. So the next pen we've got is this Pilot E95S. It has a medium nib on it. Um, it is a 14 karat gold nib. Very smooth, very soft, lovely to write with. So Pilot E95S. It's a pocket style pen. Um, it has a medium nib and it is inked with Diamine Zero. Next one we've got is the Sailor Pro Gear Slim um, in the prin uh, yeah, Princess Kagawa finish. Um, it's got a medium fine nib. It actually has, it's a beautiful sort of um, bright pink sort of ready pink but it's actually got little gold um, speckles through it it's quite a pretty pen now for those of you that don't know um, the sailor nibs tend to run very very fine much finer than your European nibs um, I don't mind them some people hate them um, but yeah I quite like them so this is the Sailor Pro Gear Slim. In the Princess, whoops. Princess Kagawa. It's got a medium fine nib and it is inked with another diamond ink, diamond uh, Scarlet. And last but not least, we've got another Sailor Pro Gear Slim. This is the Dragon Palace finish. It's the same, it's from the same series as the Princess Kagawa. It's got, um, it's like a pale sort of mint green and it's got the gold um, speckles or flecks through it as well really lovely so sailor pro gear slim dragon palace finish It also has a medium fine nib and it is inked with Diamine Sagasso C. So it's a lovely bright blue ink. Um, when you swatch it, you can actually see a little bit of red sheen in it as well. So there are pens that I'm going to, I'll just show you a close up. Um, the pens that I'm going to use for October uh, 2023. I am, I haven't really, so you know how sometimes I select my pens and inks based on the seasons or um, something that's going on or whatever. There's really no rhyme or reason this month with my selections. I just kind of pulled out pens that I wanted to use and then I wanted to use some of the ink samples that Tanya had sent me for my birthday. So I had to pick pens that I thought may be appropriate for those ink samples. Um, and then some of the other ones are just carried over from last month. So. Over here in Australia, it is spring at the moment, so I've got some sort of spring tones in there, but then in the Northern Hemisphere, it is fall. So I've got some fall styled inks too, for mainly for my letter writing to um, pen friends overseas. Um, so anyway, so they're my selections for this month. Um, and then, so that's the, so this is the Endless Recorder Notebook. 
um, with the regalia paper. I quite like it. It's as I said, it's a little bit feedbacky, a little bit toothy on the paper. There's so there's no bleed through as such. So that's good. Um, and then I've also got this reservoir um, notebook from Warringal. Yeah, so it's it's got a hundred pages. It's the A5 Reservoir Ring Note, it has a four millimeter grid, and it's 140 GSM, I think. Hmm, made in Korea. But what I want to do in here is actually just talk to you about some other fat and pen channels that I follow. Um, here we go. Um, fountain pen and I'm going to put all these in the um, description box below as well fountain pen channels that I follow I just wanted to do a bit of a shout out because um, I know the people that I follow um, have great content and they're also trying to build their channels as well so I'm hoping that um, by mentioning it here, you'll actually go and have a look at their channels and subscribe to them and follow them um, and enjoy their content as well. So, what pen will I write with? I might write with this one. River City Pen Company, the Black Green Gold and it's got the Troublemaker Hanging Rice. So, um, some Aussie channels. Hang on, this has got ink on it. Some Aussie channels that I follow, and these aren't sort of in any particular preference, but they're just ones that I follow that I like to support. Um, it's Katie, and she's at um, a fountain pen Fountain Pen Awakening. Um, she's another Aussie. She lives up in Queensland. Um, she has great content and um, I believe she's been in the Fountain Pen sort of world for about, or oh, just over a year now. Um, she has a lovely collection of pens and really different to what my collection is. So I love watching her content. Um, another one I follow that's an Aussie is Sarah at um, pause with a pen. Now Sarah's really into um, all the different inks. She's really good with her swatching. Um, and yeah, so she has a lot of different inks that I don't have in my collection. Um, and she swatches them different ways as well. So I find her channel very interesting. Uh, another one that I follow is um, Jane um, and I believe her channel is Fountain Pens and Inks Fountain Pens and Inks so Jane has just the most amazing bespoke pen collection that I think I have ever seen <laughs> um, it's just gorgeous and she's really big on inking up a lot of pens and creating this rainbow effect with her pens um, so she is wonderful and fun to follow as well um, another one i watch is karina oops karina at karina loves to plan um, and if you type any of these in the search bar above like it'll It'll actually bring up their channels and you can click on them. Um, but I will put everything in the description box for you. Another one I um, follow is Chris at uh, Chris Sains. So Chris has actually been in the um, YouTube, well, she's been on YouTube for, I think, over seven, um, is it six or seven years? Um, I've been following her for about five years. 
um, she has some great content. She's um, she does um, her currently inked and does it with eight pens usually every month and different ink combinations and she's really into inks as well so um, she's a good one to follow <coughs> excuse me um, another one is um, Marcy now I think she's just had a name change she was um, Marcy me um, but I think she's calling herself something else now, but Marcy, Marcy me. I'll have to find out what her new name's called. What else? Um, Hemingway Jones. He um, has really long sort of Hemingway Jones. He's really into journaling. Um, He's into pens, but he does quite a lot of sort of chatty talking videos. And he also interviews other pen enthusiasts as well on his channel. So he's a good one to watch. Um, so then we've got Miss Marilyn Darling. Now they um, are really into the chromatography of inks and swatching and um, they have a wonderful channel as well just very very real very honest um, I enjoy watching them now oh, and there's a whole heap of others too that I just can't think off the top of my head I probably should have written myself a list beforehand oh Simona from uh, Simone. Some of these you may already know and follow, but I just thought I'd mention them here anyway. Um, who else? Hmm. I know there's more. There's a whole heap more. Like I literally thought, oh, Claire. How can I forget Claire? I talk about her all the time. Claire from um, The Ginger Ninja. She has um, great content as well. So she's a really big journaler and she talks a lot about her mental health journey, which is very interesting. She is very raw. She is very honest. Um, and so she does a lot of um, journal flip throughs of the pens and inks she's used in each journal and she also does a lot of knitting as well so she has knitting tutorials as well as um, pen fountain pen related and journaling um, related content so just bring those in so we've got Katie from A Fountain Pen Awakening, Sarah from Pause With A Pen, Jane from Fountain Pens and Inks, Karina from Karina Loves To Plan, Chris um, at Chris Sains, Marcy at Marcy Me, HJ um, is Hemingway Jones, MD Miss Marilyn Darling, Simona from Simone, Claire from The Ginger Ninja. Oh, and I forgot one more too. Brittany. Brittany. From Carrots and Olives. And there's so many more. I mean, there's another one. Um, Cereal Nana. She's lovely um, to follow as well. And some of these people, I mean, some of these people have been around for a long time on YouTube. And others are fairly new in their fountain pen sort of YouTube journey um, so it's nice to go and support those newbies and follow them and show them some love because at the end of the day um, it's you that actually keep us doing this um, sometimes it can be quite hard to put yourself out there and you feel a bit nerdy and awkward um, but it's having um, people follow your content like you people who subscribe and like your um, videos and comment um it's through all that sort of feedback that you sort of have the courage to keep going i guess 
um, which may sound silly, but you know, if if you're not getting good feedback, you don't tend to keep doing things. So anyway, so that's all I have for you today. Um, thank you so much for watching um, right to the very end. Um, as always, I have got three envelopes. So we have got one with postage stamps. We've got one with a, I believe it's a moth or is it a butterfly? It could be a butterfly. We'll just call it a butterfly envelope. And then we've got one with um, an atlas that's actually being made oops, out of an atlas page. So we've got map, moth, we call it moth, yeah, map, moth, stamp. So comment below, um, you know, either map, moth, stamp, and um, I will send you a short letter with my currently inked list for this month of pens and maybe um, a few other things. So comment below, map, moth, stamp. Um, and then once I respond to you, I'll get you to message me over on, and I say, yes, you've got that envelope. Message me over on my Instagram account, which is JP Pen and Ink. Um, send me a DM over there with your name and address details so I can send it out to you. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for sticking with me. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you're not a subscriber, I would really appreciate it if you subscribed. Give me a thumbs up um, and leave me a comment below if, you, if there was anything that kind of stood out or you want to chat about anything in the comments below. Okay, take care, everyone. Bye.